All right, we're back at the Testo 557S. And pardon the noise of the vacuum pump, but I'm about to add nitrogen to the system and we're going to do an overnight nitrogen pressure decay test. And I don't want any air in the system. So for the last hour, the vacuum pump has been on there to completely clean, dry out and remove all possibilities of moisture in the system and I'm actually want to do the gauges only so the valves will actually be off I'm gonna be turning off the valves because I don't want the test to be messed up by hoses because if the hoses leak that won't tell me that the gauges or internals don't leak or maybe even the sight glass so I'll be turning this up to 450 psi now my test on my equipment a lot of my equipment goes up to 600 or 650 psi depending which equipment that i'm installing when i'm first brazing in the pipes and i'm doing a nitrogen uh 24 hour pressure decay test so but to be safe i'm going to only take this up to 450 psi um, actually i got to read the paperwork on this and see what their limitation is uh, it should be at least 450 or 500 or almost 600 or something like that I know my old Testo 570 can do that. So let me uh, kill off the vacuum. Let's see, I had the, yeah, I had those off because I already vacuumed them. So I'm going to kill off the hoses to make sure that the hoses, I want to make sure just the gauge manifold itself the first day could hold. And then after that, I'll go to the hoses because I'm going to bring this out on the field. I've, every day I've been performing different tests on this. To see if it's ready to go out in the field and not give me any false results first i don't bring new tools out with me and then find out there's something where after you go up on the roof you hook up and uh you find out it's faulty that's kind of a bummer so let's kill the vacuum and now we can get rid of this annoying noise oh, jesus christ all right so that is done let's crank open the nitrogen all right and open away oh we got to put it into the hoses though so we get readings forgot about that higher than the right side do you wish to switch high pressure what the hell it says the pressure check this out pressure on the left side that's your suction, is higher than your right side. That's your discharge side. Do you wish to switch the pressure with the low and high side? Now, I already zeroed this before I started this test. Why would the pressure be sensing higher on the high side? So, Testo, when I had the 557, and this does the same thing, I guess, here. When it senses that you accidentally put your hoses on backwards and say you had refrigerant, you had high pressure in there, and you go, oh shoot, I'm going to lose a lot of refrigerant or I got to disconnect or this is going to make a mess. Testo will actually, inside their software, allow you to switch it so you automatically know and it automatically knows that the low side is now counted as the high side and the high side is now the low side. No big deal. You don't have to change your hoses if you made that mistake. Or if it's a heat pump, and it switches, you know, depending on what your condition is. And so there's no reason why this should be higher because they're both open. It was zeroed out before, but it's showing this and it's equal pressure because it's only going up the yellow hose and it should be exactly equal. So why it's doing this is an issue. So let's figure this out. I'm going to turn off the nitrogen. You're seeing this live with me. This is having this little issue right here in front of us with, uh, it shouldn't. Yeah, those are open. That's open. So I'm going to kill this. Okay, so that's off now. Okay, and I'm going to bleed out the air, the nitrogen. And I'm going to say no to this, so I'll select it. And now it's not zero. So we have absolutely lost zeroing, which uh, should not have happened. Okay, so now I'm going to zero it. So press and hold, zero. So now it's zeroed again. 
so it's definitely open 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 and i have the valve cracked so i'm at atmosphere so we're zero so now i'm going to close the valve both sides are open equally it should not give that reversed uh pressure let's find out what happens one two three okay so there was a little issue going between vac zeroing it going to vacuum and going right into pressure it had negative eight and uh all right so let's crank this puppy up Okay. I'll crank it on to sink it. Eh, that's good enough. So I'll let this stabilize. When you're doing a nitrogen pressure decay test, you open it up to your bottle, let it set for 5, 10, 15 minutes, however you discovered your tools, your hoses, whatever settle out and stretch and get acclimated to the new pressure that they're at if you instantly turn off you pumped up the system with nitrogen right away and then you went right and closed it off and you started your test right away there's a, you could say the copper and everything a little bit of stretching when you just pump up a system to 450 or 650 psi and you instantly uh pump it up and then you turn your system and stop it off and you use that as your zero point and you start reading from there you'll get false readings let it acclimate for five or ten minutes and then turn it off so what you'll see tomorrow morning when i come back here is in five or ten minutes i'll come back and i'll turn off the nitrogen source and i'll close off the gauge the gauge fittings here and i'll start a pressure actually let's get into the pressure uh, menu forgot about this leak down test hey give me the menu okay measuring oh and i don't want to turn off the light uh, i've been leaving this light on for the last week if you've noticed when i started my very first test i've been leaving this gauge on every day i want to see how fast the batteries run down and i'm very impressed we're down to one bar on the battery and so let's go to measuring Let's go down to pressure leak test right there. Pressure leak test. Let's select it. Okay, we're at 460 PSI, it says right now, which was a slightly different reading than we were getting before. But I'll let this set for 5, 10, 15 minutes, and I'll come back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close off the nitrogen source, close off the gauges, and press start start will start a timer and tomorrow morning you'll see how many hours that i have left this gauge on from this starting point and as you see it just went up another tenth it was uh 160 160.1 and now it's 160.2 so this is why you let it sit from this starting point and i'll hit press start and we'll see if the gauge loses nitrogen pressure overnight and uh see where it goes from there. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.